Hey guys, what's going on? Jason, Backup Tactical. Uh, here's a question I get a lot. Which do I prefer? My Q Honey Badger or my Q Sugar Weasel? Honey Badger is on the left, Sugar Weasel on the right. They both have, you can see, a Trash Panda Suppressor. So they're configured very much the same. They are adjustable gas systems, which are awesome and so simple, are configured exactly the same way too. I shoot supersonics and I have those gas systems tuned to shoot supersonics suppressed. Produces virtually no extra gas. I have no blowback, no gas in my face, no tears in my eyes. It's a pleasure to shoot indoors or out. Uh, the Trash Panda makes these, these rifles super quiet even with supersonic ammo they're both phenomenal i've run about a thousand rounds through each suppressed and they have performed absolutely 100 percent flawlessly with any of the ammo i've tried which has all been quality factory ammo uh the big differences between these two um the honey badger has uh milled receivers the sugar weasel has forged uh the Honey Badger has its own proprietary buffer tube and stock system and a different spring recoil system to uh, move the bolt carrier back and forth and allow the bolt carrier to move back and forth. While uh, the Sugar Weasel uses a more traditional setup, um, traditional uh, AR buffer tubes. You can use any AR stock you want on it and easier to find. There are more parts in common with an AR, um, so, so less proprietary stuff. But both these rifles have some proprietary parts and super lightweight, brilliant, you know, engineered and designed parts that make these rifles super light. Um, the way right now the Sugar Weasel, the, the Honey Badger is configured, it weighs 6.4 pounds, that's with the suppressor, and a sling, which isn't on at the moment. The uh, Sugar Weasel comes in almost a pound heavier because it has, again, more regular AR parts and not so much really super lightweight proprietary parts, etc. Meaning in the, um, the stock system. The guns both function flawlessly, as I've said. It, I would be very hard pressed to choose one over the other and say, oh, this is the better one. I, I like the fact that the Honey Badger is lighter and shorter, no question. And they both shoot very much the same despite that small difference. But I, again, it would be a very tough call. And for the price difference, it's the, the Honey Badger is about $1,000 more. I might just go with the Sugar Weasel. And my Sugar Weasel, by the way, is, is older, so it actually has the hard anodized aluminum receivers, um, not the Cerakoted ones, and I like those. <laughs> I'm glad I got an older one. But anyway, that's, that's how I feel.